Yeah, I know y'all see my hair right now, but don't worry. Today I'm gonna be washing my hair and showing y'all exactly how I define my curls. And so some people will see my curl pattern like, oh no, you got 4B or whatever. No, I have type 4 hair. Like this hair is still type 4 because I just know how to do my hair to where I can be able to elongate it the way that I want to. So I don't know if y'all can see well, but if you see the tip of the pen, 4C hair is like hair that it will slightly be a little bit bigger than the di diameter of a tip of a pen. That's, that's true 4C hair. So I lost some of the audio for the footage, so bear with me. So I like to separate my hair into halves, and one half I tie up, and the other half I turn into a half. I tie up the front, and then I like to go in with my main choice leave-in spray, and spray that everywhere on my hair. I mostly focus on the hair section that I'm working with. With this part, definitely be very generous. And then after that, I like to rake the product through my hair evenly to make sure that it is properly distributed. I then put on my Honey Hydrate so that my hair is extremely moisturized under the gel. I then separate a very small section and then I clip the rest of the hair up. I then get my Super Wet Hair Gel and I love this gel not only because it's very cheap, it's like $2.50, but also it doesn't dry out my hair so definitely when you're defining your hair, you want to go heavy with the gel and you want to find a cheaper gel to do this with. Unless you got money like that, then go on ahead with that main choice gel because that gel eat. When you're defining your hair, no matter what method you're using, you do want to work in small sections. This will give you the best results and it will allow your hairstyle to last longer. But if you're in a crunch for time, you can definitely work in larger sections. And instead of using your fingers, you can use a wide paddle brush. That's something that works for my hair. If you feel like you're constantly struggling with getting your hair to do what you want it to do, it could be a couple of things. You either have breakage, split ends, heat damage, you don't know your porosity, you're not using the right product for your hair, or you're not using enough product. Trust me, just because you have type 4 hair doesn't mean you can't achieve curl definition. That is a lie that has been told and it stops today with my video. So this is half of my hair defined and I'm about to show y'all what... This side looks like because I already know this side is dry, so I'm gonna need to put some water on it. Yeah, so this is the fine hair. So, oh, I'm gonna use this for the thumbnail. All right, so as y'all can see, it's starting to shrink up a little bit, and I can have my hair all clumped up together like this. But I like my hair extra gelled. So I feel like that adds longevity to my hairstyle. That's how I can go up to two weeks. Two weeks is actually been pushing it for me because I feel like I did have a little more tangles at the back. The front was fine, it was like butter. A week is pretty good for me to leave my hairstyle in because you should not be doing your hair every day or every two days or whatever. Find something that can look neat for a couple of days and then you do your hair. So once I already like kind of gel my hair, I like to just run my fingers through it. And then when I get to the top section, because I still have all of this to do, I'm gonna show y'all some of the different methods y'all can do. I think this is just called raking. Yeah, this is what my hair looks with the frame in because then breaking my hair together and that's how I like it because I feel like the clumps just my hair just kind of does its thing and clumps itself together um and I'll have to do I don't have time today because I gotta go for Bible study but y'all just let me know if y'all want a video showing how my hair looks like with different definition methods because the definition method you use determines how your natural hair is going to look like when it dries and so y'all let me know if y'all want me to do different ones so y'all can be able to see because that will also kind of take time um so i don't like over manipulate my hair so when i use the brush i don't use it for every section by the way i use it just in case if my hair is a little bit more tangled at the root and I've already detangled it as much as I could and so some natural hair people don't like using brushes what about me I'm gonna use a brush but I always if you detangle my hair first there's nothing wrong with using brushes it helps you save time just don't be rough with your hair you really detangle as much as you can because when you feel it with your hands you're more connected to your hair you can feel exactly where your hair needs a little bit help getting the details the details getting the tangles out and then after that you can use a brush and then the brush can get out you know stuff that's a little bit more tedious if that makes sense 
oh yeah disclaimer so just because you have natural hair doesn't mean you have thick hair and so if your hair is a little bit more thin i really wouldn't recommend doing sections any section like smaller than this because you need more of your hair together so that it's stronger if that makes sense so think about if you have like just one thread if you pull it you can break it but then as you start adding more and more and more until near your rope it's going to be harder so you have to think about you have to think about your hair strands in that way and so that's also something else to keep in consideration this is what my hair looks like freshly gelled it's nice and elongated it's bouncy it's shiny and this is how i like my hair this allows me to be able to make sure that my hairstyles last longer and my hair doesn't get tangled so i use a lot of gel and not a lot of hair came out and this is what my hair looks like from the shower all right y'all so this is what my hair looks like all gelled up and wet after doing the praying hands method mostly through my fingers and then I rake through my hair. So this is what we're looking like, okay? Hair getting back long, you know the vibes. And yeah, stiff wear, stiff wear. Who needs a bust down when you can grow your own? So that's the end of the video. So y'all let me know which hair defining method y'all want next. Do y'all want finger coil? Do y'all want demon brush? I can show a little picture of my hair when it was shorter when I did a demon brush like a long time ago. Um, and any other methods y'all want me to try so y'all can kind of see what that looks like on type 4 hair. And just know that you can also define your hair too. And yeah, enjoy your soft girl day or soft war day. Thank you so much for watching my video and I can't wait to see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe.